Kelsey Taylor here. Welcome to another movie review. Now today I'm going to review a film that I've not seen in so long. Um, I kind of used to like as a kid, but now um, you'll, you'll hear my thoughts in a second. I'm going to review DuckTales the movie, Treasure of the Lost Lamp. I don't know if I'll put the whole title of the movie in the um, title of this video. I'll just call it DuckTales the movie or I don't know. Whatever I leave in the title is what I leave in the title. Um, this is the film based on the TV series um, DuckTales, which I remember watching when I was a child on Toon Dizzy, mainly on the reruns. And um, this is a film I remember watching, like, I don't know, only a few times. I never owned this on tape, and uh, I just thought, I don't know, it was a really cool film. Or, um, like, I watched this again for the first time in God knows how many years, and it, um, it's kind of hard to say if it's a really, really good movie. Like... I was, I would say it's pretty much decent for kids. Um, basically, it's about um, Scrooge McDuck, um, you know, Huey, Dewey, and Louie Webby, and uh, Launchpad McQuack going on this um, adventure, um, looking for treasure, like somewhere in Egypt, like somewhere in the middle of the desert. Um, and then they come across um, this lamp that has some um, a genie in it, voiced by Rip Trick Taylor. And then um, there's also a villain voiced by Christopher Lloyd, um, like going after the lamp. And also there's this. Um, other Egyptian character, which I'll get into um, to it in a second. Yeah, it's, it's Egypt, it says on the back of the case, I'm trying to remember. Um, I'll get to the that Egyptian character, which um, some people would say maybe this is the reason why the movie never got a DVD release up until a couple of years ago. Um, as a film, um, I thought it was kind of fun. Um, like, I remember the show being, you know, a lot of fun. Even the reboot, I watched the pilot episode of DuckTales not too long ago, and I, I really I really like it a lot. So yeah, DuckTales as a series really holds up as a whole and it deserves to be rebooted. Like maybe, you know, something better can come from this. Um, the animation in this movie is kind of like, you know, really decent, very well done animation just like on the show. Even the new show has some good, decent animation as well. Um, but um, like this movie is not without its flaws. Like, um, like the genie can be very cringy at times, maybe too a little obnoxious. Um, and when I watched this movie again, I had no idea how fast-paced this movie is. There's a good number of scenes that felt like really fast-paced, like on the show, like I understand. You know, the episodes are like, you know, a half hour, you have to like, you know, speed things up for time, like I understand that. But if they extended this movie for, you know, an extra 10 minutes, I would probably like it a bit better. Um, so yeah, some of the fast-paced scenes can get in the way at times. Um, like the action scenes, you know, are pretty decent. Some of them could have been better, like I said, if they weren't super fast-paced, they were just, you know, take its time. Um, about the, um, the, when the Egyptian character, I cannot remember, um, the name to save my life. Um, like, um, I would kind of, um, I don't know if you would call it kind of like a, kind of like racist, maybe the character's kind of racist. I usually don't pay attention to that stuff, just like, um, I didn't pay attention to much about the crows from Dumbo as being very racist. And, um, that's like the one thing that people would say, um, the reason why this, um, movie never got a DVD release. Um, for a good number of years. Like, this movie was on DVD for a period of time, but only exclusive to the Disney Club, and then in 2014 or 15, um, this finally got a DVD release. Um, I picked this movie up from Walmart, like, about almost a month ago now for $5. So, um, yeah, um, it's not one of those movies where, you know, it's going to be transported back into the vault in the few months or so. Like, you can find this one for very cheap. Like I said, Walmart for $5. I don't know um, how much this movie spent, like, elsewhere you know, cheaper or the same price. Um, it's in widescreen, it looks really good. And um, I would say, like, if you're a huge fan of DuckTales, um, definitely go check this out. Um, it's a very decent, fun movie, but um, it's kind of like a little kiddish when you look back on it now. But, um, like, if you haven't seen this movie in so long, like, you watched this movie over and over again, it's, it's worth looking back on, I guess. Um, it's not one of those ones I watched a million times, because, I, like I said, I've never owned it. And um, it's a pretty decent one to show the kids. Um, even show them the, you know, the original DuckTales. I'm sure there's some kids now watching the, um, the new series on Disney XD. I, like, I don't watch that much TV, but I watched a pilot episode. And, um, you know, at first I was like, well, rebooting it is fine, but, you know, you know there's some problems I have with the DuckTales reboot, mainly the new voices for Huey, Dewey, and Louie. But this one's definitely a decent one to check out. Um, you're a huge DuckTales fan, check this out. Um, you love this movie as a kid, um, definitely go pick this up on DVD. You can find it for cheap, and hopefully, you know, the prices don't rise on this one. You can find it 
Walmart for five dollars. And um, usually, you know, with these um, Disney titles, big or not, they usually be very pricey. Anyway, um, that's my review of um, DuckTales the movie, Treasure of the Lost Lamp. Um, thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye!